Hi, it's Tim from oraclebase.com. In this video, we'll demonstrate the DDL lock timeout feature introduced in Oracle 11G. DDL commands require exclusive locks on internal structures. If these locks aren't available, some commands return a resource busy error. That can be frustrating when trying to modify frequently accessed objects. Oracle 11G added the DDL lock timeout parameter, which indicates the number of seconds a DDL command should wait for the locks to become available. We create a table and insert a row, but don't commit the insert. In a separate session, we attempt to modify the table. We can't get an exclusive lock on the table due to the insert, so we get a resource busy error. We set the DDL lock timeout parameter to 5 seconds, and we can see the alter table command waits for 5 seconds before producing the resource busy error. This time we set the DDL lock timeout parameter to 30 seconds and issue the alter table command. We switch back to the first session and commit the insert. As soon as the transaction is complete, the alter table command in the second session completes. If you're in a situation where you have to apply DDL to busy objects, the DDL lock timeout parameter might save you a lot of frustration. Thanks for watching. As always, there are links to articles containing lots more information about this subject in the description box below.